What is up, everyone? I'm Ryan from Fireside Yankees with my friend and co-host Dylan Backer. And in today's episode, we're talking about the Blue Jays situation. Of course, you know, the Yankees, uh, you know, they have their captain and, uh, you know, reigning MVP, AL home run champion, um, all of that stuff. Um, he goes out and he hits an absolute bomb in the first game of this series off of a slider that was um, at best described as a quarter pounder meal with some medium fries and a soft drink. Um, you know, it was a cement mixer. It was terrible. It was a bad pitch and judge, uh, does what judge does to really bad sliders. And that's hit it into places that shouldn't, that baseball shouldn't go to. Um, the blue Jays, of course, you know, hints at the idea that Aaron judge was, uh, doing something nefarious and that he was using, um, external tactics that are either a not legal or B, you know, immoral to use, uh, whether it's cheating or sign stealing in an illegal manner, they were hinting that he was looking at the dugout to sign steal. Um, and while it was clear that he was, that the pitcher was tipping his pitches and that that's why they were able to pick things up. Um, Alejandro Kirk was actually set up on the outside part of the plate and gave away the location multiple times. Um, they still wanted to go with it. Um, there were Blue Jays broadcasters saying prior to the game um, that, you know, his words um, that he was mentioning a story where, um, you know, he he had messages sent to him by getting balls thrown at his head. And then immediately following saying that, he said that Kevin Gosman should send a message to Aaron Judge, implying that he means throw at Aaron Judge's head. Now, um, you know, there's a lot to cover here. There's a lot to talk about. And of course, you know, I don't think Dylan's very happy about it. I'm definitely not very happy about it. So Dylan, how are you feeling about those comments? How are you feeling now that Aaron Judge, of course, yesterday deposited two run home runs, put the Yankees ahead and give him the uh, most home runs ever hit? Uh, against the Toronto Blue Jays franchise, you know, how are you feeling after that? And of course, you know, what are your initial thoughts on the situation? Right. So, I mean, I, I don't know. The whole situation is just like, it makes no sense to me. I mean, you know, first off, Aaron Judge is a guy who hit 62 home runs last year, won American League MVP, was just four percentage points away from the batting title. And now all of a sudden he needs to cheat. You know, that makes no sense to me. Like, I don't understand why the Blue Jays would think that. And, you know, like you said, just looking at the at bat, I mean, Jay Jackson threw six consecutive sliders, and the sixth one was right down the middle. I mean, you throw a slider hanging right down the middle to one of the best hitters in all of baseball, one of the best hitters of all time at this rate, and you expect nothing less than a home run, then I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, and like like you said, you know, the Blue Jays broadcast has been, you know, insinuating a lot of, like, hatred toward him in this situation. I mean, first it was, you know, oh, he's looking in the dugout twice. What's he looking at, you know, without knowing the context? And, I mean, they said, oh, we don't want to throw around allegations, like, when we don't know anything. And then they proceed to insinuate it that there he's cheating. So you're kind of throwing out allegations right then and there, you know, just being honest about that. And then, like you said, the, uh, before the game yesterday when the, the guy said that, oh, they should send a message to judge, I mean, why are we talking like that about him? I mean, what did Aaron Judge do to this team? I don't understand. Did Aaron Judge beat up this team that bad that they're getting that salty about it and that they want to, you know, send a message, quote unquote, and throw at his head and insinuate that he's cheating because you can't stop the guy? I mean, that makes no sense to me. I mean, even even the pitcher who gave up the home run, Jay Jackson, he said in an interview to The Athletic yesterday that he was tipping his pitches. You know, he said, quote, from what I was told, I was kind of tipping the pitch. It was less my grip when I was coming behind my ear. It was the time it was taking me from my set position, from my glove coming from my head to my hip. Basically, in short, he was going faster on his fastballs and shorter on his sliders, and the hitters were picking up on it. Any good, smart baseball player would pick up on that. And to insinuate that the guy is cheating without actually knowing if he, for a fact if he is, is unprofessional. That's not professional at all. I mean, I'm not happy that they did that. I know Aaron Judge is not happy. He said that he had some choice words that he's not going to say, of course, on, you know, out in public. But I understand his frustration. I mean, you know, you're, you're kind of accusing the man of cheating when he didn't do anything. When Liddy, what he did, he looked and he said, it was, you know, the dugout was chirping. And I mean... That's a believable story. I mean, Aaron Boone had gotten ejected during judges at bat, you know, and it was it was because of a bad call. The umpire had been giving questionable calls all game, you know, so I understand it. And like, you know, it's a believable story. And the fact that Blue Jays, you know, continue to kind of just, you know, treat this like some like it's some serious thing. Like, I mean, it makes no sense to me. You know, it makes no sense. Like, I don't know. It, I'm just not happy about it. You know, what do you think about all this stuff? Because I, I personally think it's the dumbest thing in the world. I think it's the dumbest scandal scandal that we I've seen in quite a long time. And I really don't think this is necessary to continue much longer. So what are your thoughts on that? 
I 100% second your opinion that this is just so stupid. The Blue Jays announcers are mad that the Blue uh, mad at Aaron Judge, who didn't start this. The Blue Jays started this, right? The Blue Jays are the team that continuously talks smack. Are the Yankees the team that said that claimed that the uh, ace of the Toronto Blue Jays is the biggest cheater in the history of baseball? Um, it, it's it's interesting that they go so quick to that term, to that uh, you know adjective, cheater, cheater, cheater. That's what they always go to for Yankees. It's interesting. Maybe beat the Yankees. Maybe you learn how to win in the postseason. I don't know. Like, I'm not even saying win the World Series. Can you win a playoff game? Um, can, can they win a playoff game? Because because they haven't, right? I, I'm curious. Like, they haven't won a playoff game uh, since, you know, they haven't won a playoff game since the Obama administration. The last time they won a playoff game was in 2016. I was 14 years old. Uh, no, that's 14 years old. I was 12 years old, excuse me. Um, I hadn't even started middle school yet. Um, you know, I, I now I'm in college. So um, I'm a little curious. I'm just, I'm just curious to understand, you know, why exactly they can't win a playoff game, and yet they talk like they've won the World Series, like they've ran the AL East. Um, they finished second once in the AL East in the last four years. 2020, they finished behind the Yankees. Uh, 2021, they finished fourth. 2022, they finished second behind the Yankees um, and ahead of the Rays. Um, and then this year, you know, they're not in first place. They're in third place currently. Um, and if the Yankees win today, they'll be in fourth place. So I'm just curious as to what, like, what they think they're getting from this, right? Do you really think, you know, the antics with the stand the third base box, you guys are standing in the, the, the third base coach box. And then their guy isn't standing in the box. Their guy isn't standing in the third base coach's box. Uh, they're just a stupid. It feels like they're just idiots, right? It feels like this is just a group of really stupid, arrogant people. And it's like, why? Like, why, why, why do this? There's no reason to do this. And if you're the manager, uh, you know, Schneider, who decided to, you know, trip at the Yankees bench and say either fat boy or frat boy, it definitely looked like fat boy. I'm sorry. There's no way he said frat boy, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. Um, and, and, you know, directing that towards our dugout, no disrespect, no offense. If you want to mind looking at your own dugout before you make a comment like that? Look, I, again, I don't like making those weight jokes because I understand weight is a sensitive issue. And I understand there are a lot of people who have their own weight journeys and weight loss journeys and whatever it may be. And if what, however you look, I, I have no problem with that, right? Um, but when Alec Manoa and Alejandro Kirk are in the same dugout where you're yelling out fat boy to another team at, you know, like... Well, realistically, let's be real here. Let's be a little bit, let's be serious for a second here. How do you think that's going to go, right? Who do you even yell it at? Who, who even in the Yankee, on the Yankees is uh, out of shape? Like, I don't even know which guy, I don't even know who he could be referring to, right? Uh, you know, is he referring to, I actually don't know who he could be because Aaron Boone's in great shape. Um, you know, I, I actually have no idea who he's referring to, but it's just, they, they come off as these childish uh, you know, wildly unlikable people. They're trying to form a rivalry with the Yankees that the Yankees don't care to have. The Yankees don't care to start beef with the Blue Jays. We don't care about them. I don't care about what the Blue Jays do. They don't scare me, but it pisses me off when they're making these comments because, quite frankly, when we get into the territory of suggesting that you should throw out Aaron Judge, I've got problems. When you want to call our players fat or insult my players, that's when I got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you're not the Tampa Bay Rays. You're not the Houston Astros. You, I don't, I'm not scared of you. You haven't done anything to make me think, I got to respect these guys. You've accomplished nothing. You've done nothing. To this league, you currently are nothing. So, you know, with that being said, Dylan, I, wanna, I want to get your take on this. You know, the Yankees, they haven't made m many comments in response. You know, you talked about the Aaron Judge thing where, like, he was like, I'll keep those choice words to myself. You know, do you like this approach? I, I'm, I like the approach of them not choosing to chirp back or not choosing to, you know, stoop to their level. W what do you think about that, about my take on that? And, you know, what are your thoughts on, you know, how the Yankees have handled this? Right. I mean, you know, I don't mind that they haven't really said anything back. Because, I mean, this whole thing is just, like, it, it's ridiculous. It's, there's really no point to kind of prolong this issue even further. It's a pretty stupid issue, and it's based on, you know, just, you know, baseless allegations that aren't, that have not been proven facts at all whatsoever, you know. And, like, the whole thing with the third base box thing, I mean, let's be honest here for a minute, guys. When is that rule ever enforced? That rule is never enforced, and now the Blue Jays are suddenly acting like they seriously care about that rule. And if Luis Rojas's toe is outside the box, they start an issue that he's not standing in the box, even though their guy is way outside the box, and the Yankees don't say anything about it because why does it matter? Well, nobody ever, no, no base coach ever sits inside that box ever. Yes, it's there, and yes, there's technically supposed to, but they're never in there. It's a loosely enforced rule. It's almost never enforced. So. Why are we causing a big, you know, drama issue over it? Why? You know, like, I understand, you know, the Astros cheating in 20, you know, 2017 has caused a bunch of PTSD and everyone's worried now that teams are going to cheat. I understand that. But 
you know, at this point, you're just baselessly claiming that someone is cheating and you're almost like being certain that, yeah, they're definitely cheating, you know, and you're like, yeah, they have to stand in the box because they're definitely cheating. I know they're cheating. Da 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 da. You know, it's just, it makes no sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. You know, the Yankees didn't do anything wrong. They didn't break any of the rules, you know, so I don't understand. And not for nothing, let's be honest here too. If the Yankees were even quote unquote cheating, explain to me why, they, why they're why they in third or fourth place this year. Explain that to me. If they were cheating, wouldn't they be better than the Rays? Wouldn't they be? I mean, you know, not for nothing too, but usually in baseball, they teach the hitter to keep his eyes on the pitcher, right? So you would think if a batter is looking away from the pitcher, even for a second, that could throw off his rhythm and timing, right? I mean, Judge looked into the dugout as Jay Jackson is throwing the pitch. As he's winding up, he looked in there. You would think as a, as, you know, as a baseball player that if you looked away, even for a second, I mean, I know sometimes you don't want to focus too hard because you can lose your concentration. I get that. But you also don't want to just look away and get distracted because then that throws off your rhythm and timing. You're preparing to, you're preparing to swing as he's throwing the pitch and you're loading up based on when he's about to throw. So you want to get yourself ready, right? So if you're looking away, wouldn't that put the hitter at a disadvantage? I mean, this is Aaron Judge. You know, no, apparently nothing is at a disadvantage for Judge. You know, he, he did that and he still hit a 460 foot tank. But, you know, regardless, like just things like that, like accusing them of cheating because he's doing that. Like, and I also don't understand, like, how, how you could quickly relay a sign like that that fast as he's throwing the pitch and not for nothing. But the Blue Jays are using pitch calm. The Blue Jays are using Pitchcom, which the whole thing with Pitchcom is to avoid Stein stealing, which was what happened with the Astros. The whole purpose of it is to avoid that. How how could they possibly know that he's throwing, you know, another slider, you know, other than that the pitch was tipping? But how could the dugout, you know, know through some, you know, inadverse way with like cameras or whatever, or other technology that he's going to throw a slider right down the middle or he's going to throw you another slider? How are they supposed to know? They're using Pitchcom. Maybe Kirk is setting up a way and they're able to tell that way. I don't know. But if that is the case, what's wrong with that? I mean, they're not using cameras. They're not using anything. Yeah, you probably don't want people in the dugout saying anything. But, you know, people on second base, for example, would say something all the time. You know, they signal that the catcher is, uh, uh, you know, signaling this spot or, you know, stealing the signs from second base. That's perfectly legal. If the batter is able to decipher that, you know, a guy on second base, there's nothing against the rules about that. That's on the catcher to, you know better decipher those signs for the pitcher and, you know, better, you know, handle that. I don't know. Like the bottom line is just the whole thing feels like unnecessary. It doesn't feel necessary at all. If anything, you know, it just feels like a waste of time. And it feels like they're kind of being sore losers about this whole situation because, you know, the Blue Jays just lost two consecutive games to the Yankees. So it doesn't feel like that they're really handling this professionally. It just feels like they're just mad that they can't beat us. So they're going to the extreme level of saying, oh, they're cheating. That's why we can't beat them. You know, when really it might not be the case. Maybe you're just not better than us right now. Maybe you're just not, you know, and that, the Blue Jays are a good team. I'm not going to sit here and act that the Blue Jays aren't a good team. They are a good team. But, you know, to come out here and kind of just give me that loser mentality, that sore loser mentality, it just it irks me. It doesn't feel right. What, what do you think about that? No, I, I think you put that perfectly. Yes, the Blue Jays are a good baseball team. I'm not, you know, I've, I've insulted their playoff history, but that's only to say that they're not in a position to talk the way they talk. Um, you know, but with that being said, um, they are a good team. So why do this? Like, why? What's the point? It's not even like the series is over. If they win the next two games, you think they're gonna feel bad about splitting with the Yankees? Not necessarily. They'll, they'll go back up, I think, three games in the loss column on the Yankees if they split. Um, you know, even if they win one of the next two games, they're still a game ahead of the Yankees in the loss column. So, you know, what, what are you gaining from this? What's, what's the win here? What's the angle? Why, why give Judge the incentive? You, Judge, you know Judge wanted to hit a home run there. You know Judge wanted to hit that two-run home run and put them ahead and, and bury uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. But end of the day, I, I, I know this is going to sound a little wild to say, but, you know, I just don't feel like the Blue Jays – I just don't feel like the Blue Jays really have a good culture there. Like, I don't know. Like, I, that sounds bad to say, but – I, that's not going to, like, look, I didn't even say against the Yankees. You tr try that shit against Houston, man. Try that shit against Houston and see what happens in the postseason. Try that cocky attitude. Try that, I don't, you know, uh, accuse the, accuse the Astros of cheating. And say, Yo, see what happens if you start a boo Jose Altuve. We know all too well how that goes. But, um, you know, what, another thing too is like, just speaking of the Astros here, you know, I think everyone, including the Astros, uh, you know, they're not going to cheat. Right. You know, it's the, especially in that manner anymore. First off, pitch comp. But secondly, the Astros already got caught for doing it. You think the Yankees are going to go, all right, let's do a more obvious and more easy to pick up way of cheating. Like what? No. Uh, you know, let's use our brains a little bit here. But, you know, with that being said, you know, 
it, it's a situation that sucks. It's annoying, but uh, and I'm not going to sit here and say I don't care in the sense of like I don't care that this is happening because we're making a video about it. So I clearly care enough to make a video about it. Um, but I don't like care about them in the rival sense. Like I don't view them as rivals. I view them as like annoying pests that don't shut up. If you get what I'm saying. And if they throw an Aaron Judge tonight, I'm going to be a lot less kind about my cho- my words of choice here. But with that being said, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys have thoughts about this issue, because I know there's a lot of thoughts to be had, leave them in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys think. Um, you know, do you guys think that, you know, we should be mad about this? Is this something that, you know, you feel like, uh, you know, is just kind of, you know, talk and talk is talk and that's whatever. Um, you know, are you someone who, if you're a Blue Jays fan, you know, like what's your perspective on this? Cause I'm kind of curious, you know? Um, and with that being said, you guys can check us on our personal Twitter accounts. They're above our heads. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and of course our Twitter page. Empire Sports Media has all of our articles and our written content for all of our New York sports teams. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.